Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, we're just leaving Black River Falls, Wisconsin, head toward Lexington, Kentucky. Feeling a little under the weather today, got that achy muscle, flu type feeling. We'll see how I feel throughout the day. We're going to be passing through Chicago today, that'll be fun. I've also got to get across this little road here. I'm trying to get out of the Flying J onto the main road in Black River. It's always difficult because they got the lights timed perfectly so that when the traffic this way stops going, the traffic that way starts. So there's never an open period. Except for right now. Yeah. If you're patient, a space will open. Perfect. All right. Well, let's get this day on the road. Literally. You guys ready for this or what? You ready? We're about to enter the mighty freeway, I-94 East. Though presently I believe we're going to be headed south, but it's still an eastbound highway. That makes sense. Put my signal on. No, the driver moved over for me. Thank you, driver. How nice is that, Mr. Red Kenworth? I'm not going to lock him in that lane. Kilometers on east. Some people speed right up to the speed limit and lock people in that lane after they've moved over for them. That's rude. Let them pass. And if I'm going faster, I'll pass them on the left properly. Looks like the long weekend's coming to a close. Monday morning, why are you all going home already? Stay, enjoy Labor Day. Now you're all messing up traffic. Because <laughs> everybody was planning on spending their Labor Day in traffic. <laughs> it's Labor Day today. If you didn't pick up on that. And we're just passing through Wisconsin Dells. And everybody who went to the cottage and to the water parks here are all going home at the same time. And they all want to get in front of the truck. Because no one likes being behind the truck. Do any of you have like a limit to how many people you let in? <laughs> Anyways, I have a feeling that this traffic is going to be like this all the way into Chicago. I have a pretty good feeling of that. Look at those slides on the left there, eh? I really want to go check those things out sometime. On the left here is, uh, what's it called again? Wait one second. One second. One second. Okay, two seconds. Okay, one more second. One second. Okay. Kalahari Resort Indoor Water Park. Like that big building on the left? That's a water park. I would love to come here in winter time to go to the indoor water park. Apparently, somewhere around here, I think it's called Noah's Ark Water Park. I don't know which one, but it's the largest, the world's largest indoor water park. And I don't know if that's true, like the world's. It might just be, you know, the biggest in this side of the world, but it's a big one. And it's inside year round. All right, so we're in South Beloit, Illinois. That's what it rhymes. South Beloit, Illinois. Beloit, Illinois. All right, Diesel? Yes. Diesel's very concerned. He saw uh, another dog just a second ago. So I'm getting my fuel cards out here. We're gonna go grab ourselves some go-go juice and then take care of a few things inside, if you know what I mean. And we're gonna be on our way. Just had a quick fuel stop and now we're back at her. Between South Beloit and Chicago on the tollway. This is where they're fixing it. They're widening the tollway. It used to be two lanes each direction. They're widening it, I think. I think they're widening it to three lanes each way. And it looks like they're making some pretty good progress here. I like the way they do the construction here. I like this. Traffic keeps flowing. They get their job done, we get our job done. 
probably cost a fortune to fix this thing though. Can you imagine how much money the state or the government, uh, I think this is a federal highway, right? Can you imagine how much money has been pumped into this interstate revitalization, you might say? But they're getting it done. They're getting it done. So hats off to you, whoever's paying for this and whoever's getting it done. I don't know if it's state government or federal government or maybe a bit of both. What is that van doing? Oh, the van just Continue cut off this truck. Kilometers on God forbid you have to be behind a truck. Almost hit the barrier there. Wow. We must be getting close to Chicago because things are getting crazy. All right, so here's the bypass around Chicago. You guys ready for the craziness? Let the crazy begin.
second delay was Chicago. Third delay, this accident, the Z Tour. So hopefully this is it for the delays today. If we have any more delays, I might not make it. We don't want to be late. We've got to unload tomorrow morning. Destination first one where we're headed right now is Lexington, Kentucky. Lexington, Kentucky. It's a nice little area in here. A little farming area. There's a Harley guy there. Ripping her away there. You give her, buddy. It looks like I'm taking Highway 231 back to I-65. Hopefully this saves me time. It feels like it does because I'm moving, right? It's better than just sitting still on the freeway to me. I don't know. I don't know. Small town market. Isn't this nice? Hebron, Indiana. I like your town. It's very nice. Very nice indeed. these little small towns in the United States. Well, it's the same thing in Canada. You know, it's Canada, United States. I just like driving through these towns. There's just a lot more of these little towns in the United States, right? Because there's way more people down here. So nice. How many of you live in a small town like this? Hey, do any of you live in Hebron, Indiana here? Or do you know where it is? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you've ever even heard of this town. I like it. Why are all the mailboxes exactly the same? Does the town give you a mailbox? I, want, I would want a different mailbox. I want a special one. And these ones are just different colors, but they're the same kind. Nah, if I lived here, I'd put myself a custom mailbox. I don't know why. I like mailboxes. I never, I've never had one. I still don't have one. There's a nice mailbox. Very nice. So according to Google Maps, we have avoided the kerfluffle on the highway. And it should be free flowing when we get back to the highway in about five miles. Let's see if Google was right. Shortcut kind of day. It's actually not a shortcut, it's a, a detour. There you go, detour. sleep and I'll be all up to 100% again. That's the one thing about driving a truck. If you get sick, you can't call into work sick. Continue 179 kilometers on I-65 South. As long as you're safe to operate the truck, you still got to go to work. I mean, obviously, if you're not safe, if you're too woozy or throwing up, you probably shouldn't get on the road. You should probably just stay in the sleeper and, you know, 
wait it out, call dispatch, let them know you're sick, but I've never had a day like that where I'm that sick yet. I usually can still drive. So I go through Indianapolis quite a bit, as you guys have seen in my vlogs. And I know a lot of you live here, it's a beautiful city. You ready for a walk, Diesel? You ready for a walk? It's been a long day. We're not done yet. We're still about an hour and a half from our destination. And we're just here to walk the weasel. Stopped here to rest area. It's actually a pretty big rest area. It's actually huge. Goes on over there yet? Oh, oh, sorry. He wants to be in the long grass. I keep forgetting. But, oh, the moon is very clear today. Oh, it's right by that light. You can't see it. It's just a beautiful night again. Like, I love being on the road and just going for a walk on these nice summer nights. It's just perfect. You guys ever do that? If you haven't, you should definitely try it. Just on a nice, perfect, clear summer night, just go for a walk. Hopefully it's not full of mosquitoes where you're at, but it's the best time of the year. Hey, Diesel. Can't wait till I'm actually settled into my house so that I don't have to worry about unpacking and stuff. We can just enjoy it. Then we'll go on nice summer walks next year next year. Anyways, I guess we're going to continue on to our destination. We're probably going to stop in Wadi, Kentucky. If there's room for us at the inn. Uh, the Flying J there. And then stop, skip, and a jump to Lexington, Kentucky. We made it. We're in Wadi, Kentucky. Wadi, W-A-D-D-Y. Wadi. Why did they call it Wadi? Who knows? So we're, I don't know, 64 kilometers, so just over a half hour from destination. I'll give myself an hour to get there tomorrow morning because of rush hour and whatnot. And we unload one in Lexington, Kentucky tomorrow, one out of five stops. And then we head down, where do we head to? Thomasville? I know that I got like the whole day to get there because I don't deliver till the next morning. So we might make a Walmart run and get a few goodies tomorrow, if you know what I mean. I don't know. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Anyways, guys, thanks for joining me today. There was a lot of uh, fast forward uh, scenery shots today. Uh, some of you guys really enjoy that, so I included that in this vlog just for you guys. There'll be another vlog tomorrow, which will be different than today's vlog, because today's vlog is today and tomorrow's vlog is tomorrow. But I can promise you we'll be in this truck and we'll be headed from here to somewhere else. I'll see you then. 4 a.m. Central Time. I know I used some different music in the intros and outros in the last yesterday's video and this one. Hope you guys don't mind. Uh, I'm just switching things up since I got a new computer. I just figured mm, I gotta put all the things back together anyways and set up my template and whatnot for my vlogs. And why not try something different? So yeah, let me know what you guys think and uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow.